Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to another battle vid. Now this one is between the S21 FE and the Pixel 6. To find out who has the best device in that uh, sub uh, premium category. So let's go ahead and find out. Thanks for joining me on this video. Hopefully you are enjoying the content on the channel. And if you're joining us for the very first time, definitely check out more videos on the channel. We just came back from CS 2022. So I'm some really cool tech there. Go see those videos. Also, we have done a video on the S21 FE versus the S20 FE, which is, you know, it's cool. It's a nice comparison, but I know a lot of people are wondering, what about the Pixel 6? It's priced at $100 less than the S21 FE. So how does it actually compare? So we know that the S21 FE and the Pixel 6 both have 6.4 inch displays. So they have displays with the same aspect ratio, full HD, um, with the refresh rates being different for both of the devices. Pixel 6 at 90 Hertz, while the S21 FE is 120 Hertz. So you've got a faster refresh rate, especially if you have gaming in mind. Now, in terms of other specs though, we do have a 4600 milliamp battery for the Pixel, while 4500 for the Galaxy S21 FE. So it's similar in terms of the uh, batteries there. Now, in terms of design and feel, the Pixel 6 has a very unique design with that camera bar, if you will, while the S21 FE takes the design from the S21 with the cameras on the side, you can say the left-hand side of the back of the device. It all depends on what you like there, so I would say that's something that's interesting for both. They do come in multiple colors, and they do have, of course, uh, high-end processors. This is where things begin to differ. We do know that the S21 FE is rocking a Snapdragon 888 processor, while the Pixel 6 is rocking the Google Tensor processor, which is Google's latest processor on the device, and comes with eight gigabytes of RAM. So let's go ahead and jump into some of the key specifics. Let's start off, of course, with audio. Now, both of them have stereo speakers, but in terms of the audio output and performance, let's take a listen to how they both sound. Honestly, they do sound really good. I think the Pixel 6 sounds much louder than the S21 FE, but in terms of clarity, I think they're almost the same. But what do you guys think there in terms of audio from both devices? Now, we jump into the heart of the matter, gaming and performance. Now, as we know, the Tensor processor is a new processor from, from Google, and we have the Snapdragon 888 for the S21 FE. And then we had to, of course, check out a bunch of games for both devices. And as you know, we do our benchmark with, uh, with uh, GameBench, which you can download down below if you want to use it. This is where things were same and interesting. So we started off with Call of Duty Mobile, both devices, they both ran at 60 frames per second, which is to be expected for Call of Duty Mobile. If you fail here, then there's just no hope for you. Then we moved over to PUBG Mobile. Now PUBG Mobile, Plain and Smooth Extreme, both devices ran well and ran at 60 frames per second, which is nice to see and a good indication as well. And then when we moved to PUBG Mobile Ultra HD Ultra, uh, we got about 40 frames per second. Again, a good indication and something that's standard across the board for almost all devices, uh, top tier devices. Now, when we moved over to Genshin Impact, this is where things differ. So for Genshin Impact, both devices ran at their highest settings for the game. And we played the game for 30 minutes, roughly for both devices. This is where there is a stark difference. Now running 60 FPS, was the S21 um, FE, which ran for 60 FPS for that full period of time for 30 minutes, while the Pixel 6 ran at 
30 frames per second. Actually, it, within three minutes of gameplay, it started dipping down from 60, went down to 40, and then quickly to 30 to 32 frames per second. So this is a clear indication of what this processor can actually do in terms of gaming. So you can have that there. Now, of course, with smartphones, you do other things besides game and listen to music or audio. You also have cameras where you can do a lot more with this with both devices. Now the S21 FE has a 12, 8 and 12 megapixel camera, triple camera setup, while the Pixel 6 has a 50 megapixel main sensor and a 12 megapixel ultra wide. I can tell you how the cameras are, but I'll let you see video and photos, especially while I was in Vegas uh, at CES 2022. So this is the part that I was a bit shocked. I thought there would be a clear a drastic difference with the cameras because Samsung is going with an older camera sensor while Google has a newer sensor and of course we know how their processing is. And I think it all depends on the situations from what I saw, uh, but I want to know what you guys think because I think it's closer than most people might say. So let me know your thoughts on the camera. Now when we look at both devices, I would say in terms of what I would pick, to be a day-to-day. -day. I think the S21 FE wins this battle. The Pixel 6 is a very solid device, but for me, when it comes to gaming, it just doesn't handle games well. And on the other aspects, you do have a 120 hertz display on the FE, uh, and you do have really good speakers on the FE as well, as well as the Pixel. Uh, but the camera performance is nothing mind-blowing for me to go with the Pixel. So I would like to know your thoughts. What do you think? Do you think the Pixel won this battle? Do you think I'm wrong? Or do you think the S21 FE is justified at its price point? Let me know what you guys think. I know pre-orders will be starting soon. If you want to, definitely use our link down below um, and pre-order yours or pick up a Pixel 6 if that's something you're looking for. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.